And it's Garrett Callan, against whom I've not played. Another French defense. Here's a different variation, the Venever. Different from the first game I played. Usually this pawn comes up. A3, Bishop. And he played the Knight out. On that light, I'm going to break the pin. And rather than break my pawn structure, I'll recapture with the bishop. I think I'll expand in the center here, get my pieces out, get castled. I might have should have brought the bishop out first to control f5. And here comes his pawns. If he plays c4 here, I'll just drop back to e2. But I don't want to give him time to super attack the d pawn. All right. That makes sense. My bishop's kind of blocked by my own pawns anyway. And so if he wants to trade knight for bishop, I'll re-solidify my center and trade off my bad bishop. He's not interested in that. He's like, your bishop has tall pawn syndrome. I'm going to leave it that way. Now, I'm just trying to decide if there's a tactic where I can sacrifice my bishop on h7. There are often times one can do that. First, I think I'll bring my knight into the field. Next, perhaps play the check, and then followed by another check, then queen h5, if he allows that. He's saying, I'm going to pin your pawn so that your knight is, uh, your knight, your uh, bishop is vulnerable. I feel like I can go ahead and strike now. My idea, let's just make sure it doesn't fail. Bishop takes pawn. King takes bishop. Knight to g5 check. And now, what will he do? Seems reasonable, <laughs> but will it work? Perhaps he'll say, no, you can have the pawn. I'll just move my king over. Well, yeah, this still begs for some nasties. He said, no, thank you. Well, can I get my queen here anyway? Open the path. 
I play my knight here and he takes well then I, I it's an equal trade if I take back but what if I play my knight there he takes and I just jump up here what's he gonna do about this threat I'm gonna play it I'm gonna play it you can have my bishop if you take I'll come here you can even give me check. I'll run away. You can even have my rook. And he did. He said, take it. All right, so here's the queen. Now what? How's he going to stop my mating attack? So he did as predicted. I don't want to give him any ability to check me again. So I think I'll just play king to d2. Where does he go now? Oh, that was silly. I could have just taken the knight, folks. <laughs> Blindness. I are a chess coach. All I had to do is take the take the knight, get out of check. <laughs> uh, I stayed up too late. And that would have been a check. That was uh that was ridiculous. <laughs> oh boy. Well, I think he just allowed me to checkmate him anyway. <laughs> so, there you go. It was a little silly on my part. I didn't uh, notice I could give check here. Followed by checkmate. How do I not notice that? I knew I wanted to move my bishop out of the way. Somehow I couldn't see all the way across the board that I not only could move my bishop out of the way, but I could take his knight. <laughs>